uh, an ordinary year and season, what does it mean for your team to go to Waco and compete for the national championship? Uh, I think staff and athletes, we're all at this point just excited to be part of postseason. So, you know, we know what it was like last year to kind of have it taken away. We were there, we were ready, we were prepping, we, you know, had all of everything in line to head to postseason and it was taken away. So definitely a very different perspective of you know, just gratitude of being able to do this, being able to do it with our teammates, being able to do it with our horses. So um, it, it's a definitely a different perspective, and I think it's a good one for the staff and the athletes. What has your team done to prepare for competition? Well, I think playing in the SEC is a great preparation, so um, that's been a little bit different this season and just only having one out-of-conference competition, and other than that, all we're playing are SEC teams. Um, so. You know, if you can hang in with the SEC, you know you're, you're on the right track. Um, so, but every day we come back after an SEC competition and know, you know, what we really need to work on. So we've kind of gotten down to the nitty gritty and the nuts and bolts and, you know, got to see exactly what we needed to work on after um, the SEC um, conference championship. And what is your team most looking forward to during the national championship this year? I think the girls really enjoy being able to, with the championship being in Waco, being able to take our horses. So during postseason, teams will travel with their horses to provide uh, the equipment for the competition itself. So that's kind of like a, what a normal horse show that they do growing up. And so when we get to take our four-legged teammates, it's always fun to share with them <laughs> that experience. And then um, we're able to travel uh, more of our team members because they have, will have a big responsibility in taking care of the horses and schooling the horses and, and the starters obviously have a big job of, of being able to uh, compete and represent their team that way. So taking the horses is exciting and taking care of them and prepping them out and getting them ready for show day too. What are some of the challenges that you guys have seen this season and how has the team overcome them? Um, I think a challenge is only playing SEC teams because it's so hard and um, so there you know we really had no downtime. Uh, it was nice being able to play in the fall and the spring uh, but every team um, every competition we had just counted that much more and we knew we really had no wiggle room at all so uh, while it's good on one hand because it shows you where your weakness and um, soft points are on the other hand it's you know there's just no downtime and you know, it's hard when you come away with a loss and you got to pick yourself back up and get back in the saddle, like they say, and do it again. What, uh, what have been some of your team's strengths throughout the season and how do you think you can utilize those in Waco? You know, with um, so much stuff being, um, not being able to do it in person, you know, we definitely miss our team meetings, not being able to have our team meetings in person. Really the only in-person stuff we do is travel. And so I think this team has done a really good job, especially across the board, uh, with Hunseed and Western when they, you know, they're not competing at the same time, but they've done a really good job of creating that team bond, even if it's just by Zoom, uh, or even if it's just checking in with each other by text messages, and, you know, making sure that they have that team atmosphere and know that everybody's pulling for everybody, even though we can't be face-to-face -face all the time. And then how does preparing for the national championships differ than, say, getting prepared for a regular season meet? It is a little bit different because we are taking so many horses, so you know half the time we're thinking about the horses and trying to get them prepped correctly, and then you know we're also thinking about the athletes. Uh, so that adds a little bit of a different dynamic to it. But other than that, I mean, it's it's pretty status quo for the season. Uh, lots of you know, watching videos, going back and reviewing uh, videos, thinking about what horses we potentially might see at nationals, and there are going to be some new horses uh, this year at nationals. We'll just have horses travel in from Texas and Oklahoma. Um, so the more big 12 type horses that we need to do our homework on and make sure that we've got all the information you know, that we have on them that we're using that correctly. And then what are you expecting and hoping to see from your team as you begin to play against SMU? Um, you know, it, 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 it's just going to be different you know, with them playing the ECAC um, and them really just doing conference. Um, they have a very strong Western team. They're good on the hunt seat side as well. Um, but you never really know. And when you don't see them during the year, you never really know. But I, I think I, they're a great team. Um, they have great coaches. Both their coaches um, have been in the SEC, so they know um, the strength of schedule that the SEC has. So I know they'll bring it, and it, it's going to be a good competition. All right, let's do it.